Guided imagery is not limited to physical problems or health issues. It's commonly used for emotional healing and other psychological issues. We spoke with Dr. Cindy Kim at Children's Hospital of Orange County. We asked her to give us more information on guided imagery. Guided imagery involves using a progression of mental images to focus the mind, um, connect the mind to the body with the end goal of enhancing relaxation. It's akin to biofeedback. It's in the, in the category of integrative medicine techniques and it's a way to enhance um, coping with stress, uh, pain management, um, as well as just improving overall stress management and relaxation. Dr. Kim told us how guided imagery can be applied to children. Guided imagery is a great way to engage your children to be able to um, use their um, uh, skills and abilities to imagine and their creativity to really allow their mind to help take control in a situation where they often feel out of control. For example, when a child feel, you know, is undergoing some kind of a, a routine procedure like you know, getting their, their blood drawn or they're having to um, endure some kind of you know, painful procedure or having to take you know, their temperature taken. It's a great way to distract their mind, to have them focus and choose to focus on something that can be more relaxing or, or more positive mood setting. So it's really a great strategy and a, and a tool for children to be able to use. Dr. Kim gives us an example of how guided imagery can help a patient. So I had a patient yesterday who um, came to my office and who was really having some difficulty with um, routine lab draws. Because she was so nervous and anxious, what ended up happening was she would her muscles would tense up and so in effect she was really making that pinprick even more painful. Um, so what we taught her to do was to utilizing um, breathing techniques to really help calm herself down, help her mind to focus on something else. Um, in particular, we um, use the strategy of having her go to her favorite place in her mind or in imagination. And so she was able to really just close her eyes and allow herself to drift off to this wonderful place in her imagination where she allowed her senses to really create a very positive experience. And when she had her you know, blood taken out, she hardly noticed it because her mind was elsewhere. And that really is the beauty of applying guided imagery work with children and really giving them back a sense of control during times where they've really had little control. What are some tips for parents to help their children manage stress better? Guided imagery is very, it's a very um, common phenomenon that we as adults and children you know use day to day if you've ever imagined yourself kind of looking out the window and daydreaming and having a vivid um, kind of imaginary or, or visual experience where you can really even smell you know the roses and feel the sunlight on your skin for that momentary period and it's so applicable and what parents can do um, to help their children be able to um, tap into that is just encouraging them by maybe even doing it together, doing an ex activity together and saying, you know, let's close our eyes together and let's go together to our favorite place. And the parents can help enhance the child's um, imagination by reminding them with, you know, verbal cues of, you know, remember walking and that ride you were on and the teacup and how wonderful that experience was and remember watching Snow White coming out and how beautiful her dress was and just by inviting and really encouraging their child to use their imagination um, the child can the child's imagination and creativity can be really enhanced. 